Hey folks, welcome back to War Thunder. It has been a hell of a long time, I don't think I've made a video for about five months. Um, I've basically just moved my computer over to my fiance's house after starting my new job in March. Um, and I've been pretty busy and I've just, my computer's been in storage so that's why I've been gone. Um, so opening up there with the craziest aim-9b shot that I've ever got. This is all footage from before I disappeared. Um, I just didn't have time to edit it beforehand. Today we're grinding out the A-10, the tag tree one obviously. Um, I used a combination of the uh, Squadron A-40 and the um, F-40 in the F-40 at the moment. Just um, in a bit of a furball. Trying to use the radar to ID whether the targets are friendly or hostile. That Vigan is an AI teammate that's in front of us. Uh, it turns out this guy, this F-104, is the bad guy. So, trying to maintain energy and pull in behind him without losing too much speed. Looks like there's a MiG in the mix as well. They just went around R6, so we need to finish this F-104 off pretty, pretty sharpish. AI Vigan just spectacularly failed to kill the F-104, so we're just going to go for a speculative gunshot, and if we miss, we'll just follow up with an M9J. Part of me was wondering whether that was actually a player or an AI, but uh, clearly it was a player. I've never actually flown the F-104s, um, should probably give them a go at some point. There's that MiG. So, in terms of dogfighting, the MiG kind of has an advantage in the one circle, but we have an advantage in the two circle. So what I'm going to try and do, got very lucky, he didn't hurt me there, is um, keep my distance and just ready for him and hope that I don't get third partied, third partied and hopefully maybe he will and it'll save me. But theoretically we should be able to keep this up for a while until we end up with background on S6. That AI Vigan is kind of running interference for us, but it's probably not that much of a threat if he's manoeuvring us this much. Friendly Mirage 3 as well. I'm not sure if that's. I think that probably is AI. I'm just not familiar with that AI name. So, right here, I'm just. The reason I'm not pulling the MIG into the hood is because I need to get my speed built up before I do any vertical manoeuvres. Because if I allow him to have speed over me, then this fight is absolutely 100% lost. So I'm stacking here. I'm not sure if he actually sees me or not, because there's there's quite a lot of friendlies around, and I'm hoping he might have got distracted. Speculative gunshot there, but no dice, unfortunately. We are pretty damn slow at the minute, so I'm kind of dipping my nose and going back into my right, just falling around to his tail side. He's flipping it around into the one circle, it looks like, which is not great for us. Not sure if he's lost Viz here, because rather than going head on, he's, he's actually still turning around, so maybe we're not completely screwed. Died on me. I think he's got his attention focused on the Mirage 3. I, uh, I spotted a dot in the distance there, but radar confirmed that it was friendly, so we can go back on target. I just wanted to be sure that anything else coming into the mix wasn't going to be hostile. And really shouldn't have come into this head-on, but thankfully we managed to pick him off, so it ended well for us. So, back to the A4 Eclipse. Um, I've been quite enjoying ground striking in EC lately because they've added actual damage models to the uh, ground units and obviously right now it's five months after I actually got this footage so I do have the A10 now, I've flew it quite a bit, I just didn't manage to make a video on it before now. Um, using the Gao A to just completely rinse these class 3Ps and the Leopard A1A1s with the actual damage model is so so satisfying. And you, you actually have quite a good um, chance against fighters that come and try and deal with you as well because you have so much better missiles than they do with the M9Ls. So anyway, I was running the HVAR rockets, sorry not the HVARs, the uh, Mighty Mouse rockets to try and kill these AI beforehand and it was not working out. For some reason they're mounted at an angle that shoots them down, like you almost can't aim them because they shoot down so far. So I switched over to the bombs. 
not having a huge amount of luck with them either. You can actually gun these things even with 20 mils because of how weak the engine deck armor is, and obviously because they're AI, they never put fires out. So all you do, you just spray the engine deck, set on fire, and then move on to the next one. Might take them five minutes to burn up, but they will eventually burn up. So in the kill feed, uh, a G91R4 just killed a javelin, and I can see the wreck over there. So we're going to try and sneak up on this guy and intercept him. Still not sure right now whether he's seen me or not. We are still carrying three bombs as well, so my hope was that I'd be able to get a missile out on him without him seeing me, and then go back to bombing the uh, AI. But I don't think it's going to pan out. I was expecting to pull across my nose here, but he actually nearly crashed into me. So he definitely knows I'm here now, so I immediately ditch all my bombs. Go into a climb because he just wasted a huge amount of energy by doing that big 180 that he just did. And now he's coming up, so I'm going to go down, try and keep my energy up. Not pulling super hard here, just to try and get the energy as high as I can get it before I go vertical again. And I'm extending away at this point just to see if he's going to commit after me or not. And also to see if he's got missiles, because I have flares, so if he fires one up, I can just get him to waste them. But he didn't, and he's closing in, so I'm going to have to manoeuvre to stop him from getting a gunshot. I'm going to try and stack high and pull into him, see if he'll bleed off more energy than me. I'm not sure whether I have the better thrust or him yet, so I'm kind of just figuring things out on the fly. If you asked me before this whether I reckon a G91 or a Skyhawk would have the edge in a dogfight, I've probably expected the G91 to be better off, but I'm not sure if... It could be that I'm the better pilot. We'll see. That's not to toot my own horn, by the way. I just honestly thought he'd be able to just completely murk me without much effort, but I managed to keep him busy for quite a long time. I do get ridiculously lucky there, though. Not sure how he didn't hit me there. I know that the F, uh, the F, the A4 does actually have quite good one circuit performance because it's got a delta wing and leading edge slats. Managed to out thrust him there and stack high, and this is looking Attention extremely nice. Oh, if I'd just held the trigger down on that little tiny winny bit longer, we probably would have had him there. So now I've got to just not overshoot. I'm just stacking up a bit to arrest some speed because I don't want to shoot over him or overshoot him, even that, that is the phrase. Yeah, this is working out really nice. They've completely got him defensive here. Now, if I just learn how to aim, I'm not sure how they missed. Guide on me. Yes. Attention to the Back to the F4 Phantom. So we've got a dot up ahead, two dots up ahead. Um, oh, there's there's even more. So this one that we've got locked is the enemy. A sparrow out on him. I've not. I I just generally don't have good luck with sparrows. I'm not sure how that one didn't kill him. It looks like an SU-7 or some sort of ground attack, big Russian ground attack jet, so not sure how to play this to be honest. With his, um, if it's one of the swing wing ones, he probably does potentially have a man maneuverability edge at low speed, so I'm just going to keep my speed pretty high and uh, come around on him. Got a friendly F5 on his 6. I'm just going to go vertical and try and cut off his turn. I had the... Um, <laughs> I had it in auto levelling and I was wondering why it wasn't looping over. Rookie error. So the F5 is pretty close, but I know that the AIM-9 seeker looks a little bit below the gun sight, so I was fairly confident when I got turned there that it was going to be on the right target. 
And there we go. And moving on to the last clip. Got a friendly and an enemy in close proximity with each other and trying to figure out which is which using the radar. But they're so close together it's not helping out much. Now they've separated. Radar is saying he is the right guy. Missile missed, but way. Look at that. That's probably one of the best gun kills I've had in quite a long time. So, moving on from this, I actually got the A10 now. So, if you want to see how I got on with that, then uh, be sure to tune into the next video. Um, we'll probably look at how I did the PC for a little bit first because I'm grinding about some mods, so I'll probably make a video on the grind. And then once we've got the Mavericks Sim ground battle in another video. So if that sounds good to you guys, hit like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.